little marker was right here. Casey Grasso buried her 55-year-old father at the historic Seamanville Cemetery in Monroe in 2014, but the heartache didn't end there. We went through two years of nothing but grief. I mean, we're happy now that he's in a place where he is, and it's we're finally able to put him at rest, but we went through this and it wasn't fair. Grasso says this gravestone and its ornate memorial garden forced her family to disinter her father's remains and move him about 25 feet away. We weren't able to put up the headstone because they actually came over the lines with their rock garden onto his plot. In fact, the parents of 25-year-old car crash victim Aaron Vays are being sued by the cemetery over the size of the marble headstone that is technically six inches too tall. The First Presbyterian Church of Monroe is threatening to tear it all down and bill the vase for the work, something they tearfully vowed to fight earlier this month. I can't even grieve here. I'm afraid that they're going to come and take monument down. But to take monument down, they have to take me down first. The vase memorial includes solar powered lights, a bench, several vases with artificial flowers, even a bird feeder and birdhouses on a nearby tree, and an urn used as an ashtray. The cemetery rules posted in a mailbox here at the entrance clearly state no artificial decorations are allowed. That includes lights, vases, and urns anywhere in the 234-year-old graveyard. You have to have respect for other people and what the laws are and what the rules are. You should abide by them, and none of this would have happened. And a judge will likely have to decide what happens to this memorial next. In Monroe, Orange County, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News.